Hi guys, welcome to story time. Today I'm gonna tell you one of my favorite stories about Eric Carl, and it's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. There we go. Look, one night on the light of the moon, there was a very tiny little egg that was sleeping on a leaf. Inside the egg, there was a very small, super baby, tiny caterpillar. When the sun came out, oh, the caterpillar started to wake up. And he slowly, slowly, slowly came out of the egg. Plop! There it is, our very small and tiny caterpillar. Oops, our caterpillar is super, very hungry. So, on Monday, he ate through one apple. Oh dear, but he was still hungry. So on Tuesday, he ate through one and two pears. Mmm, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through One, two, and three plums. <sighs> oh dear, but he was still hungry. What are we going to do with this caterpillar? So on Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, and four strawberries. <sighs> but he was still hungry. So on Friday, he decided that he was going to eat one, two, three, four, and five oranges. Oh dear! One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot. <sighs> but he was still hungry. So on Saturday, hmm, he ate through a piece of cheese. And a slice of watermelon. And some salami. And a lollipop. He also ate through an ice cream. Uh oh. And a pickle. A piece of apple pie. A sausage. And 
Mira, cupcake. Uy, and you know what happened? Uy, 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 uy. Then he had a stomach ache. Because that's a lot of fruit and we shouldn't eat all that fruit at the food at the same time. We get sick, right? Oh, I'm sick. <laughs> Poor caterpillar. So on Sunday, he decided that he was going to eat only a little piece of a green leaf. And then uh, he started to be a little bit sleepy. But you know what? He was not a very small and tiny caterpillar anymore. He had eaten a lot, a lot, a lot of food. And now he was a very big and fat caterpillar. But he was also very sleepy. <laughs> And he decided that he was going to take a nap. Do you know where do caterpillars sleep? Caterpillars build themselves a little bed that is called a cocoon. And so our caterpillar built himself a cocoon. Oh, bye bye, said the caterpillar. Oh, and he went to sleep. He stayed in the cocoon for two weeks. That means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And again, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you know what? When he came out of the cocoon, he was not a caterpillar anymore. He had turned into a beautiful butterfly. Now he doesn't have to eat fruit or food anymore. Now our butterfly can take pollen from the flowers. Bye bye, little butterfly. Did you like the story? It's one of my favorites. Bye-bye.